Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, wow. For the impies, first impressions are overwhelming. Luxuries they have never enjoyed before. Got export. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy. Mummy, why did he get a picture of that? He obviously likes artwork as well, doesn't he? Yeah. But look at these photos, look. But what do the photos tell them? It's a man with a girl and a boy. Yeah. They seem like they're very family kind of orientated. Is that electric? Oh, that's sassy, oh. Brandon. We don't have a table, which is going to be oh, nice. Mummy, watch! Mummy, watch! You can see they like pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Does, I think this man drinks yeah. beer. Oh, wow. This is lovely. Guys, I you I take your shoes off. Nice. nice. Statues, similar to what we have at home, <laughs> similar, like that. Similar unit as well. Really similar unit. <laughs> Where do you want to start? Similar then? colours, wow. I mean... Grey, grey. I think she's got two kids. Maybe three? I think two. A really cool feature wall. I think maybe she's a single mum, just cos it's only pictures of her and her kids. Eight pounds off. So she's obviously checking her vouchers. It looks like she's a savvy yeah. spender and looks after her money. Yeah. Great oven. She's obviously a good cook. I think she's maybe a chef. Is he like a showbiz person or something? Oh, this one. Is that not the man that was in the photos in the living room? The step-by-step yeah. -step guide to becoming debt-free and wealthy. Right, I'm there. Take shoes off. Brandon's already <laughs> lapping up the lavish lifestyle. That's his car. That is his car, isn't it? He's got a Ferrari. Mummy, you have to drive a Ferrari. I don't think I'm going to be able to drive a Ferrari. Amy only recently passed the driving test, and she's not a confident driver. Maybe taking a Ferrari for a spin isn't such a good idea. <laughs> Amy's recent separation has left her with no money to spare. Now, with cash to spend, her priority is a very special day out. It's not the Queen's Palace, mate. Despite living only 13 miles outside London, this is the first time the family have experienced the sights and delights of the capital. I've never been to London. I don't know. I think it's probably the expenses. Even though we live so close, it's still going to cost money. It's mad, isn't it? How long do we get to the Queen's Palace? Oh, Brandon, look. <gasps> Queen's Guard, Brandon. Queen's Guard! You always wanted, didn't you, to come and see, get up, see get up, the Queen's Palace? All right, sorry, sorry, I'm in the Is way now. It? Stacey, get out the way. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> the Queen lives in a big, big, long house. Okay, bye to the Queen, then. Bye, Queen. Bye. The taxi fare's a bit of a shock. It's gone up to £52.20. £53, now. It must go, like, literally as it turns a wheel. Oh, my God! There's a car inside the shop. With the tour over and cash in their pocket, the impies disappear into shopping heaven. Just like Amy, Emmanuel experienced tough financial times after his divorce. Living Amy's life reminds him that being poor means staying in to avoid unnecessary spending. I think Amy's having a tough time on her budget and looking after two kids. Um, and it's difficult to be organised. You've probably got lots of things to do, running around, picking them up from school, taking them to school, cooking, cleaning. Millionaire Emmanuel usually employs a housekeeper to tackle his domestic duties. It's certainly much easier having a dishwasher. But this week, he'll be employing his own elbow grease for once. I work hard to do the things that I want to do rather than things I don't want to do. I like to do the things I enjoy rather than things I don't enjoy. The family split 11 months ago hit the impy children hard. So treats are in order on this, their first ever trip into London. What are you looking for? Got anything in mind? But old habits die hard when it comes to watching the pennies. Can we get this one first? Well, well, how much is it first? Let's have a look. £38. Pound. That's not actually that bad. 20 Thank you. Thirty. Happy? Good boy, Brandon. Well done, mate. It's a Saturday off for Stacey, so Amy's taking her for her first ever pamper session. Happy? Yeah. Good. 
Amy's hoping time together will give Stacy a chance to talk about the family breakup and how it's affected her daughter. When the breakup happened, I was kind of like on your side, if you know what I mean? Mm. Like, was you unhappy then? And it kind of... Yeah, at the time, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to be in the dark. Yeah, no, I know where you're coming from. I felt exactly the same. As the time goes on, I think you just have to, like, kind of forget about it and try and try and be more of a bigger person. You know, like, you, you can talk to me whenever you want. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. Like, not just days like this, but whenever we, um... Just even if you just call me over and say, Mum, I need a chat. Yeah. As afternoon tea is served, Amy reaches an important conclusion about their mum and daughter relationship. Hmm. We just need to learn to just spend a bit more time together, don't we? Yeah. And we'll just do like Stacey and Mum, Stacey and Mum day, just like that. Yeah. Okay. Long drink, but yeah. Cheers. It's day four. As Amy hasn't had time to finish decorating Brandon's room, Emmanuel and daughter Chelsea decide to help her out and finish the job. Got a matte bluish grey, I think. Go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I actually really enjoyed uh, redecorating Brandon's room. I like that I could do it with my dad, as I don't think we ever do anything artistic together. Having learned about Amy's separation, the conversation comes round to Emmanuel's split from Chelsea's mum. Your mum and I weren't really talking. There was quite a lot of animosity going on. I guess we were always stuck in the middle. Yeah. It was very stressful. Yeah. It's all painful to talk about it. Amy's been going through a very difficult time as a single mum. If one thing she can take from us is that support through family allows you that ability to eventually come round. And if you need help, the greatest thing is asking for help, showing vulnerability, not showing, you know, I might be strong and have muscles, but my greatest strength. That's been my vulnerability. For the first time, they come face to face with their mystery host. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm Emmanuel. Thank you very much for your day. Hey, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. Would you like to come and have a drink? If you're buying, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Buy at any time. Let's go. With Stacy looking after Brandon, the adults can swap stories. When we come through the front door, we will look at all different photos and artwork, all the different things I couldn't quite put together. I was thinking, who is this? Who is this chap? And we obviously found all the little clues and everything. And I was thinking, oh, I don't think these people are going to get me. They're just going to think I'm some chav that's. <laughs> a single mum that doesn't really do a lot. And then I found the jackets that I actually thought, and I did say to your brother, actually, it was hilarious. <laughs> I said to him, does he do, like, some showbiz thing on the side or something? Can he wet himself with laughter? He's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> How did you cope with your week, though? Because I was, I was actually quite worried about you guys, because I was like, oh, God, they're going to have, like, a really boring week or something, and they're going to not enjoy it. Well... It, it wasn't easy, trying to live how you live. Yeah. You can see how difficult it is. Yeah, yeah. So we walked in it. As we were really, really pleasantly surprised. It just how, felt very yeah. warm. I think we could also that. like understand and relate, you know, you being a single mum with your kids. Yeah. You know, even though our parents were both still around, they were yeah. separate, so we had to split and divide our time. Joel was a similar age to eight-year-old Brandon when his parents split. I felt that it was my fault that my parents got divorced. But there's lots of similarities between yeah. him yeah. and I, and I think you'll yeah. see him come out of his shell a bit more. And This week has helped him a lot, and... Um, yeah, he's, he's, been, he's very clean with me at the moment. Um, and he also states, you know, I'm going to hold your hand until somebody else can, and then I'll let... I'll, I'll, what like, geezer. So he's, he is, he is. And, uh... First and foremost, oh, you should you. be proud of yourself already. I am. God, you let me cry. And you're doing an amazing job already. And just, just so you know... I'm fighting every single day. I know. Emmanuel's keen to steer the conversation away from the past and towards the future. 
We've had a lot of fun. We've come together. Yeah. We've remembered one just how very lucky and blessed we are. Here's to new friendship. Yes.